So welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today I'm gonna to show you a quick trick in vacuum sealing some of the products that you can't normally vacuum seal. If you take sugar or flour or something, put it inside your vacuum sealed bag, throw it in your machine and hit the button. Oh Lord, are you looking for a mess? You need lunch bags. You need a two cup measuring cup. You need a plastic bucket with a lid. You need a vacuum sealer. You need vacuum sealed bags and a Sharpie and the products that you can't vacuum seal without doing this method. Okay, folks. So when you get the, when I get your bag out, take and open up your bag. Now I'm going to do the whole thing of salt. It's one pound of salt. As you can see here, it's just one pound of iodized salt. I'm going to pour it right in my bag. Now you could break this up if you would like. You could do a uh, half a pound and a half a pound. Um, however you wanna do it, it's totally up to you. All right, so there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come up to the top here, folks. I'm gonna fold this top over right here. All right? You don't wanna fold it way down here. You wanna have room for the product to spread out a little bit and you'll see why in just a second. So turn on your food saver and then you wanna get yourself a bag. Now I have my bag. Now, on my bag, now you can write with your Sharpie, you can write on here or you can write on here. So I'm just gonna put one pound, abbreviate iodized salt. Two, 13, 22. All right, so once you got that on there, your vacuum sealed bags, all right, you're gonna have this smooth side that I just wrote on, and you're gonna have this rough side. The rough side goes down when you put it inside of your container. So if you always remember to write on the, the nice smooth side, just remember, it needs to face you when you put it into your vacuum sealer. Now you take your salt. Now what I want to do is try to hold this right here and let the salt spread out just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now we're going to come up. Insert it into your vacuum sealer. Make sure it's on the dry setting because mine has a dry and a moist. Make sure it's on dry setting. And once you get it to where it needs to be, hit the button. Your little light here shows it's sealing. You'll hear it release here in a second. There it goes. And now we have a perfectly good seal. This thing is like rock solid. You take your handy dandy bucket, toss it inside. Let's do some sugar. Sugar is really fine, just like salt. We're going to do the sugar. Now, the sugar, I think I'm going to do maybe three cups in each bag. I forget what this is. Yeah, this is the 10 pound bag. So there's two cups. So now we have three cups. So we need another bag, right? We get another one. Down here, we're gonna write three cups sugar two, 13, 22. We're going to do the same thing we did before. Take, hold that over like that at the very top. Place this in our bag. All right, now don't forget, the rough side goes down, goes into your machine, folks. If you have a vacuum sealer like mine, once you get it where you want it,
and voila, your sugar is done. There's no mess except for probably what you spilled like I did on the counter here, but that's gonna happen with sugar. Whenever you pour sugar, you always make somewhat of a mess. We have another nice vacuum seal and this goes into our handy dandy bucket. All right, okay now uh, folks on this one here, most of your bread recipes call for two to three cups, depending on your recipe. So we're gonna do three cups of flour. Get your measuring cup, grab your flour, pour it right in there. Now, if you wanted to measure this out with an actual one cup, so you can get an exact amount, that's fine. We're gonna go for one more cup. So there's our three cups of flour. Roll that down. We need another bag. Pop her down, slide her across, we got a bag. So this is three cups, flour, the date. Take our bag, put it inside our vacuum sealed bag. Now, like I said, if you wanted to throw an auction absorber in here, you're more than welcome to. But you don't have to, folks. And right now, with inflation and the price of everything in the stores, if you don't need it, don't buy it. And voila, folks, we've done salt, we've done sugar. We have done flour as soon as it releases. There we go. We have flour. We throw that into our bucket. All right, folks, so you saw really how easy that really was. And to be perfectly honest with you, this goes right along with my rice video on, you know, if you have your bucket right, and you're storing your stuff in your bucket and you break it up into like your three cups of flour, three cups of sugar, a pound of salt or something else. These are great bargaining tools. This would be a great bargaining tool in case of an emergency, a grid down situation or Lord knows whatever else may happen. People will eventually need these products. And if you have those products, you'll be able to bargain to get the products you need and to help you and your family survive. So thank you for joining me today on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope you all learned a little something about vacuum sealing and doing some of the dry goods that you just can't do unless you know this trick. Right, folks? So you all stay safe. You keep prepping. You keep the boat afloat. That in the long run could be the difference between life and death. Till next time, folks, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.